They can say what they want to say, man. That man feel like he at his best. Y'all got to ask Canelo. Do he feel like he's slowing down? He say no, right? So we're going to fight the Canelo that's the best Canelo in the world. Hey, Chip, how is it with the weight gain and moving up the weight? Is it much? Is it, is it as a big a deal as people make it out to be that you're going up two weight classes? It is, it is important. It's super important. You can't just move up in weight and um, just walk around fat. You're going to be out of shape. You're not going to be able to run. You're not going to be able to. So moving up in weight is not easy. Just like going down in weight is not easy. So. You have to, you know, have the right people in your corner, your doctors and your nutritionists and all of this kind of thing. Well, at first, I don't have a nutrition. I'm from the South. We cook our own food. We, we do that shit right. I mean, a lot of people do, and I think that you're supposed to, especially towards the end of things. But I think um, when you got a good lady at home that can cook and you got, you know, awesome food around you and you got money to afford it, you don't need all that. Yeah, you, you, and Canelo, you and Canelo are the same age. But mm -hmm. you know, you're the one who move, who's moving up two weight divisions and coming off a, a layoff with a hand injury. Yeah. So how is it that Canelo is the one, in some people's eyes, with the disadvantage? You know what I'm saying? When he has pretty much all the advantage. Uh, right. He, even uh, everything. You know, he did the call the shots right now. So I got to be the underdog, and maybe sometimes in my life that's what I, that's what it takes to to, uh, to be the underdog and become the warrior. So. Uh, I don't know what the dif disadvantages is. I I've been laid off uh, uh, whatever time y'all say I laid off, but I'll tell y'all that don't mean nothing to me. I'll come to fight, uh, whatever I come to fight. This is the skills that I, I brought to the boxing world and what I've been doing for all of these years. So, hey, the best man win. I I'm a warrior. Let's go fight. Hey, it's not about how many times you for go down, it's about how many times you get back up. Biggest fight of your career. Let's get a question. Hold on one second. One second. Let's get a question from Hip Hop Is Real. Appreciate it. Biggest fight of your career. How's the mindset been? different than other fights and how his training camp been different than other fights? It's just the same mindset I um, always have. They say I'm calm, cool, and collective, but I mean, I'm, I'm really fired up. I don't know why they, you know, uh, I, I guess I can, I can say, you know, not having my rowdy ass brother uh, <laughs> around me every, uh, you know, my brother ain't been in camp, ain't seen him, talked to him or nothing, not this whole camp. I think that might have, you know, slowed me down as far as how rational I could be. Okay. So. Um, you know, when when I'm getting when he getting ready for a fight, I'm loud, obnoxious, energy, yeah. energy, intoxicated, whatever we want to call it, <laughs> and and having a good time waiting on him to fight. And I felt like at this moment, it's my turn. Uh, just don't got that that noise in my ear. If you <laughs> stop Canelo, are you number one pound for pound? I'm, I'm number one pound for pound for sure. How you feel? Did about you miss that? Did you miss that you voice know? in your ear? You miss your brother's voice in your ear right now in camp? A bit, a bit, mm -hmm. maybe a little bit. It ain't affecting me. I still got a good team, and I still got uh, my, my childhood friend, people I grew up with, and all of this. You know, like I don't think that uh, it, I have no excuses. You know, and my brother's getting his life together, and whatever he got to do to be the best in boxing. And so, uh, I'm my brother's keeper always. You know, I mean, don't change on each other. Canelo, Thank you guys. Canelo, Canelo, has shown, Canelo has shown that he, he just said he basically has been listening to you, calling him out over the years. We've all heard it. Uh, now he's excited to prove it to you. But how excited are you to go ahead and prove what you need to prove to Canelo? I'm proving it to the world too. So yeah, I'm more excited than he is. So I'm, I'm I'm excited. Like let's go, let's rock. And we just all talking about who made the sweatsuit. Right? Um, I got a, I got a team that so put my stuff. Yeah, the belts on the side, the belts on the leg. Yeah, it's cool. Uh, uh, my guy, Team Savage. Y'all link up with him. Jamal, you're one of the biggest punchers in the sport, pound for pound. We've never seen Canelo really hurt to the headshot, certainly not in, in recent years with a headshot. How uh -huh. important is it that you make him feel that power moving up to 168? I think uh, I'll, I'll um, give, give my all as far as, you know, every punch. And uh, it's not about, you know, just trying to hurt him, you know, knock him in or, or whatever that case. It's about beating him 12 rounds. And so I'm going to give everything that I've been working on and, and my team um, at the moments and, and change and make it, you know, be adversity, take that, take that, be that guy, make it rough for him in there. So it's a lot of things that, you know, I, I want to tell you, but I ain't going to tell you. It's a lot of things that I see. And for, for him to say that I don't believe in his skills is why I don't. You last, know? last question, guys. Can you build your perfect fighter? Power, speed, ring IQ, defense. Who, who, what you mean? All time. You can make attributes from any fighter ever. So like Mike Tyson's power, build your ultimate fighter. My ultimate fighter was Power. Edwin Valero. Speed. Canel Whitaker. Defense. Roy Jones had good defense, but then he started getting, you know, <laughs> kind of sloppy with it. So I floored me with it. Floyd okay. me with it. Ring IQ like temperament. Ring IQ and but then temperament? God. Oh. Oh. Jamel Charlo. <laughs> nah, let me see. Uh um, 
I liked uh, good temperament, but good high ring IQ. Uh, Lennox Lewis had some good high IQ. He was sharp. Um, Juan Guzman, he had good IQ. Uh, but yeah. Thank you, bro. Thank you, guys. We're all done. No, we got to go. Steak and lobster. You know, in camp, I saw he was a big player of steak and lobster after you know having a meal like that. What's what's that like compared to a previous camp where you're trying to make weight? Uh, I think I, I've always kind of like eat steaks and lobsters and shit. Um, I just didn't have such a large portions. This time I could have like, you know, from a, from a four ounce to an eight ounce or something like that. <laughs> no more questions, guys. Thank you very much. Thanks. For station fans. Thank you.